What it is, what it was, what it could be, y'all. Welcome back to Disc Golf Justice. I got my Zuka cart with me here today, and we're gonna go over what I like and don't like about it. So I've actually been rocking a Zuka cart almost from the very beginning when I got into disc golf. I noticed pretty much straight away that I didn't enjoy carrying a disc golf bag, and as well as making the content that I make, it's nice being able to offload some of that weight and gear onto something else that I don't have to have on my body. Luckily for me, there is a Zuka distributor here in this Australia, so I didn't have to pay any outrageous shipping and I was able to get my hands on one of these Zuka carts like a month into my disc golf career. But it hasn't all been sunshine and rainbows with this thing. I do absolutely love it. I like it way more than any disc golf bag just because I just, I'm not a big fan of setting my bag down, picking it up for every single shot. For me, that's so annoying. I'd just rather pull or push my cart, grab my disc, whatever. But that being said, there are a few things that I really don't like about this cart and I wish I would have known before I bought it. So hopefully I can help you guys out if you're looking to pick one of these up. So I'm gonna start with the things that I don't like about it first. There's a couple things I find extremely frustrating about this cart. For one, if your top rack's not full, your disc will literally shift sideways as you're rolling around on the ground and shaking and they'll fall down onto the first row or fall back behind the first row and that's super duper annoying. So what I've done is since I bag way more fairway drivers and distance drivers than I do putters and mids, so I put all my putters and mids down here on the bottom since there's less of them and they can't fall through because they're on the bottom. And then this thing stays full and I can get everything out quite easily. I know Zuka does recommend that if you have extra space in one of these racks to, to put something like a jacket or one of their accessory pouches that they make in here to stop your disc from rattling around and falling through. But for me, I don't really have anything extra to put in there. So I just put all my putters and mids on the bottom so they can't fall through. Yes, they rattle around, but I mean, it is what it is. Another thing that really grinds my gears about this cart, or I think it's gonna be a universal problem with all carts. When you're pulling or pushing across rough terrain or when you're on an unlevel surface, these things tip and roll so easy and when they roll all of your discs spill out and the amount of times that this has happened to me and it doesn't even always have to be like crazy landscape sometimes you just hit a little rough patch you know and it rocks your cart back and forth and next thing you know you're tipped over and all your discs are out and that's super annoying you could probably stop these things from falling out by putting in some elastic bands across here I do see they have like some grooves which I imagine that's what it's for to put the elastic bands but it seems like that's only for the bottom one they don't have anything for the top rack and the top racks the ones that seem to fall out more than the bottom ones another thing that really, really grinds my gears about this car are these crossbars in here that the discs sit on. They have these grooves that the, the crossbar goes into. If this crossbar isn't seated all the way into this groove, which happens all the time, way more often than it should, I'm honestly thinking about putting glue on there so that it can't move. But that makes these, the bar come up a little bit, making there less room for you to pull your top row discs out. And the amount of times that it's popped all the way out of there, it's just, it's really annoying. Honestly, I'm gonna put some glue on there. There's probably other alternatives, but that's likely my biggest pet peeve with the car is that bit right there. These crossbars popping in and out drives me nuts. If I flip the cart around here, you'll see it has some uh, cup holders on the back or bottle holders, water bottle holders. They do work really well. I mean, it holds your water. However, they're pretty loose. They're pretty jaggedy. They have a screw here that you can tighten them up a bit. But even still, they just, your water flops around in there and these aren't like the most sturdy material and it just gets loose and wobbly and your water kind of rattles around. That's obviously not the end of the world, but it is a little thing that it does annoy me. I think my only other complaint on this bad boy is the fact that it doesn't have fenders. I'm pretty sure you can buy fenders and put them on there, but when you're like me and you come out here in the early mornings, the grass is always wet and a little bit mucky, and you probably can't see it, but the back of my cart is just splattered with mud. I've kind of just left it, it is what it is. But I think that pretty much wraps up the things I don't like about it. So let's get into what I do like about it. I think the most obvious thing is the fact that it is a very sturdy seat. Again, I like to come out and play early mornings and the grass is always wet, so I don't wanna be sitting on the ground and get my behind all wet. Is it as comfortable as an R3 custom roller? No, it doesn't have the paddy cushion, but to be honest, I don't really notice it. It feels just fine. You're rarely ever sitting longer than 10, 15, 20 minutes anyways. It's not like you, I need a Tempur-Pedic underneath my ass, you know? Like, this seems to work just fine for me. Another thing I like about it is the fact that it does hold so many discs. I have 15 discs here up on the top row and I have 10 here on the bottom row and you can see I can fit more. I do carry a little Berg's bags pouch that I have equipped to the side of this where I put my actual putting putters which works quite nice and I can just grab my putting putters whenever I need them. Quick access but I like that it holds so many discs you know like do I need this many discs? No I honestly probably throw five discs on every single course but do I like having these many discs? So the options there or if I'm just playing around by myself for a casual round I want to throw multiple shots I got all the discs in the world to throw you know. 
know. Again, I, I like all the storage options it has like on the side. Like obviously a disc golf bag is gonna have storage options as well, but you're gonna be carrying that on your actual bag. I don't have to carry any of this. So I got all my microphone stuff. My camera batteries are in here. I put my batteries, I put SD cards, I put ND filters in here, lens cleaning cloths. I got all sorts of stuff that goes in here. And that's on this side. This side's the camera side. And then on the other side, it's got the same exact thing. You got a zip compartment that you can open up. And on this side is where I keep all my essentials for being out there on the course, like sunscreen, bug spray, ibuprofen. I got chapstick in here. I even got some tape. I used to tape some of my fingers when I first started playing. I got gum. You know, I even got a, I even got some cough drops over here. You never know what you're gonna need out there on the course. So I just kind of keep that all in the zip compartment. And then under here, I don't have anything at the moment, but I usually store my snacks on this side. It having so many storage options is one thing I really like about it because it's not on my back. I like a lot of storage. I absolutely hate carrying stuff in my pockets when I'm playing my phone, nothing. I don't like having anything in my pockets. I put all that junk in here. I got chalk bags in here. My car keys all go in here. I got two sets of towels I just clip onto the side. I should probably wash them at some point, but uh, we'll see if that happens. But most of all, I just like the easy use. The easy use of just Carting your stuff around, not having to worry about doing anything to your throwing arm or putting it on your throwing shoulder or anything. Like a lot of times I try to not even pull it with my right arm, but it's honestly not that big a deal. Some people say you should push these rather than pull them. I don't know. I've tried pushing it and I find it a little bit awkward and I just prefer to pull the cart. It is what it is, you know, everyone likes to do what they like to do. I'm sure you can imagine what having a cart that you can sit on can do, having the storage capacity. I do have some grievances with it, but they're not deal breakers, you know, there are, there are annoyances, but I can get over them. If you're someone that carries a lot of discs, I recommend the Zuka cart because I have a Berg's bag, which is one of the biggest disc golf bags in the game. And the biggest complaint that most people have with that is that it's too big, but that bag doesn't hold as many discs as my Zuka cart. Like, I can't fit all these discs into that bag. So if you want to carry a lot of discs, but you don't want to have that weight on your shoulders, boom, go, go get yourself a cart. If you live in areas that have a lot of elevation changes, now I don't really recommend you go out and get a cart. You're probably better off just sticking to a disc golf bag. Carting these on uneven slopes and uneven terrains, it's, it's honestly just a nightmare. And going up and down hills pulling these is no fun either. It'll gas you. It'll make you realize that you're not in very good shape. <laughs> when I first started filming myself as well, I used to use this as my tripod. I just had this little clamp mount that would clamp onto the handle and then my camera would just set on top of here. So like if you want to have an all-in-one system where you can just have your camera riding on top of here, it does get a bit shaky, which is why I eventually just went to using a regular tripod, but it does do the job if you're in a pinch. You can just chuck your camera on here on a little clamp mount and shoot yourself. So if you film yourself or you, or you carry a lot of gear or a lot of discs, yeah, you really can't go wrong with the cart. If you live in an area with a lot of elevation changes, I don't recommend it. If you can get past the little annoyances like your disc falling out, or if you can even come up with a crafty way to make the disc stay in, hey, drop that down in the comments to help me out because that is one of the most annoying bits about this cart. But I am curious, what do you guys think about the Zuka cart? What do you think about carts in general? Are you disc golf bag type of person or do you like pulling the carts? Personally, I'm a cart person. I will only ever use a bag if I'm in a place that has a lot of elevation changes. But if you guys found the review helpful, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. If you want to see more, make sure you smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future content. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.